Hey everyone, I'm Ryan, you're watching 60 Cycle Hum, and in this video, I'm gonna answer the question literally no one is asking. No one cares, no one wants to know the answer to this, but maybe they will after they read the clickbait title, and that question is, now that I have two baritones, which one would I keep? I've got two baritones here, both Fender styled, obviously. This one's all Fender parts, this one's a Squire. Uh, both have single coils, both are the same color. <laughs> I've got two black baritones with single coils, and essentially, the exact same neck on them because I really think that Squire took the same CNC uh, file that Fender used for the neck on this. They feel very, very, very close to me. Um, so anyways, now that I've got two, I mean, this is an important question. I'm not planning on actually selling one. Uh, I'm planning on keeping them both for the time being. Um, I mean, for the time being kind of puts it up in the air, doesn't it? So anyways, let's talk about this guitar first and then we'll get into some audio comparisons and some detail comparisons and whatnot. This is a parts guitar that I put together. I mean, you could probably figure that out. No one's ever sold this new. Uh, what do I have here? I have a blacktop Telecaster neck that I bought off of eBay. Good eight or nine years ago? I think that's right. I've had this thing around for a long, long time. Uh, it made it onto my band's album on our last song. Kind of a throwaway song, but I still think it's fun. And it definitely shows off that baritone sound quite a bit. Um, I really like this neck. It fits onto a standard body, so it's kind of like a conversion sort of concept. Um, I think this neck is the exact same scale, the exact same measurements, so there's no reason why you'd be able to buy a neck taken off of one of these and throw it onto another Telecaster if you want to. You might have some questions about how this fits onto a strap body. This is a Mexican strap body, by the way, that I acquired in a trade. Uh, I traded a Line 6 Pod XT and floorboard for a Mexican strap loaded with American pickups in here, which sound great, by the way. And so I took the neck off of this, put the Tele neck on here, and swapped that original neck onto uh, the flying V back there. I think that's where that neck came from. So, now you know where all the parts came from. Blacktop Tele neck, Mexican body that came loaded with American strap pickups. Let's play it. Let's listen to this thing. That was the number two position. Here is the bridge. Oops, I bumped the volume. Common strat problem, accidentally bumping the, the volume. Well, you can do the pinky swells. Here is the middle. Number four position. And neck. I've got a pedal board here in front of me. Um, some pedals that I thought would be pretty great for baritone. First of all, I've got the Surfy Bear Reverb. This name is obscured by the pedals that are on top of it. It is a spring reverb tank. It's a uh, circuit reproduction of a Fender outboard reverb unit. Um, it just uses FETs instead of tubes. It's got a real spring in there, and the right spring too, with volume, tone, mixer, and dual controls. If you're looking for real drip, It's pretty freaking great. I think it's pretty much the best option. 
for that surf guitar sound in these modern ages. Then I have the Ad Violence. <laughs> this is by Jupiter, J-P-T-R effects. Link down below. I mean, I'll have links for all this stuff. Oh man, I just recently unboxed and demoed this thing. I think it's amazing for baritone. It's just fat, heavy distortion. I'm gonna use the 50-50 to limit the volume on it. This is a two-sided DoD 250 style pedal. Uh, this is gonna help pull back the volume on this because it will crush my amps and recorders right now. Here's what the 50-50 sounds like without the ad violence. You can hear it's just kind of like a light overdrive. Of course I can stack the other side in. For a doubled up like distortion sort of sound. Then I have the MTG tube tremolo by Fender, of course. Might as well put the reverb back on for that. On to the Squire. After we do our basic sound check, I'll get into the nitty gritty with details. Is it in tune? Pretty close, pretty damn close from the last time I played it. Which was two days ago, three days ago, I think. That is the bridge pickup. I'm getting a twangier vibe off this. Here's the middle position. Here's the neck. Much darker neck than the Strat. There it is with the tone all the way down. Let's do some effects. Surfy Bear on the bridge.
can say honestly, before we even get into comparisons, like this is just a fantastic guitar. I think this is going to be at the top of the pack as far as the paranormal stuff goes, and I've only tried the uh, <laughs> the supersonic so far. If other stuff outshines this, I'll be shocked because this is this is a fantastic guitar. All right, let's throw on the 5050 and the Ad Violence. Neck position. So my initial impressions here are that my parts guitar, well, it sounds like a Strat. <laughs> because that's what it is. And this sounds like a Telecaster with P90s in it. Uh, the shocking thing here, and I think the most important thing to take away from this, is that I really do think these necks are so similar that they must be built off of the same files. Putting them side to side here right now, it's just, it's uncanny. Because necks come in different, you know, shapes, thicknesses, and things like that. All kinds of variations, even from Telecaster to Telecaster, Strat to Strat. Um, but these are so close. The little, the blend to. The headstock here is a little bit softer on the blacktop telly neck. Just slightly, it's slightly more exaggerated here on the Squire. But other than that, the feel is very, very similar. Maybe t slightly fuller, maybe a slightly fuller neck on the fender, but it's slight. Don't have a skunk stripe. Oops, <laughs> sorry camera. Don't have a skunk stripe on the back of the Squire. So that is a different part of the build. 
where you do have a skunk stripe on the back of that black top neck right there. Uh, some people might be asking, because I've gotten this question before, how did I fit a Telecaster neck into a strap body because they have different heel shapes on the neck? Well, this strap body has one of those kind of like universal neck pockets. It's kind of wavy. I'll find a picture of one and put it up here. Um, so the neck itself fit into the pocket. The issue that I ran into was the pick guard. And I'll put pictures close up of this. I had, because the strap pick guard has a curved edge here for a strap neck and a telly neck has a flat edge there, I had to uh, use a file to grind out that connection of the pick guard to be flat, to meet up with the neck. And uh, it worked out perfectly. That neck is in there really tidy. Uh, I think that seeing that these are very, very similar necks in their scale, in their measurements, in their cut. Um, I bet you could buy one of these necks off of eBay when these things become available. I'm sure Stratosphere will have <laughs> parts to these guitars all over the place. And you could slap this on to all kinds of different Fender bodies. As long as they started out as a normal uh, Fender 25 and a half inch scale, I bet this would work as a conversion neck on all kinds of fenders. Uh, don't quote me on that. If uh, you buy one and it doesn't work out, but because it worked out on my Strat here, I have a feeling that it would work out just fine. All right, what do I choose? Which one would get the boot? Man, it's tough. We'll say I think the pickups on this sound higher quality. I mean, they're, they're American vintage reissue pickups, I'm pretty sure. They have that little bit of like a, uh, what's it called? A bevel on the edge of the magnets, which is kind of a hallmark of American vintage reissue pickups. It might be across the whole American line, but that's the way it is on my, uh, on my Jaguar. Um, the pickups on this, they sound like cheap P90s. They're a little bit muddy. Uh, there's some twang character there on the bridge pickup, but they're quite a bit darker, quite a bit muddier than these American pickups. You can swap pickups easily. I mean, these aren't proprietary designed pickups. You can swap other P90s in here. Uh, it gets trickier if you want to swap something that's not a P90 into this guitar, where this guitar, the sky's the limit. I could put anything in a Strat. Anything. Any kind of pickup I can put in a Strat. Challenge me with a pickup I couldn't put in a Strat. Where this, I'd have to remove wood to put a humbucker in here. Or to, you know, I'd have to get a creative pick guard to put a single coil in here. So there's more versatility to the design of this. I've also got the trim on here, which I don't use a lot. Very, very rarely do I use the trim on this baritone Strat, just because it's kind of a divey, like very abrupt trim for a baritone sound, where I think a Bigsby or an offset style trim that you find like on a Jazzmaster, even a Bass 6 uh, suits. Baritone sounds much better, um, but I can use it. So no trim on here. There's that comparison. Whew, this is a tough decision. There's also the thing I have to factor in. For me, this doesn't matter to you, the viewer. Um, but as far as business goes, because I'm in the business of making videos and having people click affiliate links and buy things uh, that could help me you know, make a living, and pay my bills. This would be the clear choice because you can't buy this. It's a parts guitar. I can't say, oh, check out this cool guitar that I love, go buy one. And then I get an affiliate link click. So <laughs> the business side of it, the, the answer is clear. I would go with this because you can go buy this and I can make a little bit of a living uh, if you do that. But I can't factor that into this conversation here because it makes no sense to you, the viewer. Damn, this is hard. This is really hard. I think that the fact that it is hard is, <laughs> I mean, I've already given my endorsement, is a, is a shining endorsement for this guitar, is that it is such a hard decision for me to make right now. Because I could, I could put some really nice P90s in here and it immediately it would be on the same quality level as this, as far as sound quality goes. It would be different sound quality because it would be, a P90 sound instead of a Strat sound, but I could clear up that muddiness immediately with a $150 set of pickups, maybe even cheaper. 
I'm going to frame it this way. There's a couple different scenarios here. For my business purposes, obviously, I'd go with this. For personal purposes, here in the room, holding them to, I have history with this. It fills my niche a little bit closer, so I'd probably go with this. Uh, if I was walking into a store and these were hanging on the wall, and I tried them both, as I am right now, the person I am right now, the needs I have right now as a player, I think I'd go with this. When I strip away my personal history and kind of my thoughts on, you know, like pickups and stuff like that, picking this up and playing it just now, quickly back and forth, um, it has a fun factor, like a resonance to it, a liveliness to it, that is outdoing this guitar. And this could only be improved by a better set of pickups. But man, it was close. That, those were hard decisions to make and it was three different scenarios. And this beat it in two. But one of them doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter to you guys at all. The business side of this doesn't matter to you guys. Um, I'd say if you want to try to chase a parts guitar version like I've done, I can fully recommend the Blacktop Tele Neck if you can find one of those. Um, as these become available, I'm sure there are going to be people out there scrapping the necks and putting them on eBay for probably more than they're worth, but there's a way to go. Um, and you can always find uh, conversion necks from you know, parts suppliers and stuff like that. Uh, I think it's a really fun thing to have around, a baritone. If you've never played one before, I can fully recommend this guitar as a starter baritone. Uh, people have been asking me a lot about the Dan Electro baritones as they compare to this. Um, Dan Electro baritones, also a fun place to start. Also a really fun guitar uh, because it's a Dan Electro and because of its unique construction, it's always gonna be a little bit quirky, maybe a lot bit quirky. Uh, that can be a really good thing. It can be not what you want as well. So you need to figure that out for yourself. But I'd say for most players, this is gonna be a better all around guitar for you uh, as far as being a first baritone um, or a last baritone or <laughs> a baritone in between. I think it's just a better representation of a normal, in air quotes, guitar experience. Uh, versus a Dan Electro. But yeah, I mean, this thing still gets my endorsement. I, you know, that's obvious at this point in the video. The only thing I don't like about it is the color, which is funny because I already have a baritone, pretty much the exact same color, just has a black pit guard instead. <laughs> really, the, uh, the thing I'm walking away from this video is that I need to paint one of these. 
So that's the that's the real question. If you made it to the end of the video, God, I'm stealing this from Andy right now. If you made it to the end of the video, you're in the end of the video club. <laughs> Sorry, Andy. Uh, comment down below which one you think I should refinish. I could also do a full body swap for either of these, really. I could do a full body swap for either of these guitars, and that's something to think about. $400, I think these are, and you could swap the body for a Tele body with a loadout that uh, you'd prefer, and you have a baritone conversion. Anyways, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, dislike, leave me rude and nasty comments, support us on Patreon. Click all the links if you're interested in any of these pedals. Use my affiliate links to buy them. I don't have affiliates for most of them. <laughs> Go direct to Jupiter Effects. Go direct to Surfy Bear. You can't buy this right now. It's not available anywhere. Maybe it is on Reverb. Uh, go use the affiliate link for the Fender Tube Tremolo. Use the affiliate link for these when they become available, if they aren't right now. And as far as the Strat goes, you can't buy those. All right. <laughs> Bye, everybody.